Hello students. Let us do algebra. Now, one of the famous actor in a TV show had told that he found maths difficult when the alphabets entered maths. Now, even if you intend becoming an actor, remember it is the easiest thing to solve algebra if you understand the fundamental concepts. So, let us do the elementary algebra. The elementary uh, tree, give the elementary treatment to algebra. So, what you have to understand is the basic concepts. If that is clear, you will find algebra very, very easy. So, now, right from KG, you have learned 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. These are constant. Now, what is the beauty of this concept, uh, constant? You can add them. You can subtract them. You can multiply. You can divide. And you can form number of numbers with those constants. See how? Now, you take any two numbers. 3 plus 8. 3 minus 8. 8 minus 3. 8 divided by 3. 3 divided by 8. 3 into 8. Now, you can form 38. You can form 83. You can form more numbers. 3. 8, 9, 2, 8, 4. Number of numbers you can form with this just 10 constant. Include 0, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. With this 10 constant you can form number of numbers and you can carry out number of operations on these numbers. They are constant and the answer which you get will always remain constant. I hope this concept is clear. Now, now let us take this variable. Variable means it will vary. It is not going to be constant. So you give an alphabet. Normally you give an alphabet A, B, C, D, A, B, C, X, Y, Z. Remember that starting three alphabets, last three alphabets. Now it has nothing to do with actual variable but you can give any alphabet for variable so a b c up to z now you take this variable x plus y minus z x minus y z x minus y plus z x divided by y x z now this operations on this variable addition, subtraction, division, uh, multiplication or forming more uh, 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 terms with uh, the alphabets, whatever. It is always going to remain a variable. So whatever operations you carry on variable, it will remain a variable. You add the variable, you subtract the variable, you divide the variable, uh, you multiply the variable. It is going to remain a variable only. So that is the way beauty of the variable. Now when you combine this constant, with the variable, it is going to be variable. So you combine this constant 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 with x, y, z. It is going to be variable. So constant with any operation is going to remain constant. Variable with any operation will remain variable. But combining constant with the variable, it is going to be variable. So, here 3 is the constant, x is the, x is the variable. So, now you have combined 3 into x, it is a variable. Even though 3 is a constant and x is variable, combining constant and variable will make it a variable. Now, you have to understand what term. 
So all this constant from one term, one is one term, two is one term, three is one term, whatever constant is going to be one term. And variable x, a, b, c, d, x, y, z, it is going to be one term. And we, when you combine this constant and variable, it becomes one term. So this is term. When you combine all this term, it is going to be algebraic expression. This is how algebraic expression is formed, combining all the terms. So, this is what algebraic expression is. And you have to understand this algebraic expression and how the formation of this algebraic expression takes place. Now generating the algebraic expression, how the equation is formed, how the algebraic expressions are formed. Now here the age of lady is 28 years. 28 years more than the than that of her son who is x year old you do not know the age of son so he is x you suppose his age to be x so who is x years old now how do we find the mother's age the lady's age it is x plus 28 years now, the child was born when the mother was 28 years. Now, whatever the age of son, that has to be added to get the present age of the mother, of the lady. So, here this is the variable. Here, this term, it is variable. This has formed an algebraic expression to find the age of the lady, x plus 28 years. So, you will be able to solve this equation. Now, equation has been formed. An equation has been formed. More information will be given to solve this equation. First thing, you have to learn how to form the algebraic expression. So, this is an algebraic expression. X plus 28 years. Whatever the unit. Now, next if a number n is 12 times the number x, whatever the number x is, so now new number is 12 times the first number. So how we form this equation? Here the n, if the number n is 12 times, 12 times another number, we don't know what that number is. So that is x. Here we got x. So here this algebraic expression is n is equal to 12x. Now, I hope these two are clear. They are very simple. Now listen carefully. If, you, if in a two digit number the unit digit is x and tens digit is y. So here uh, unit x. Unit is x, but here tens place is y. x unit tens y. So this at tens place has to be multiplied by 10. For example, I've got 52 rupees. So x is uh, 2. Here 5. 52, 5 has got the value which is multiplied by 10. 50 rupees plus 2 rupees. So here 50, 5 has got the value of 50. So here at the tens place, the number has to be multiplied by 10. Because its value is multiplied equal to multiplied by 10. So then this equation form, the algebraic expression form would be 10y plus x. Now, four times of a. To form the algebraic expression, read each part carefully. So, five times of a. So, what you have written? 5a. Five, five times. That is, you are times means you have to multiply 5a. 
is decreased. Decrease means subtraction. Subtraction decreased by six times. Six times of B. So six B multiplied six times of B. Then this much this equation is formed. Now then after this then the result after this uh, equation the result will come that result obtained is decreased is decreased again minus minus by what 8 plus c minus this 8 plus c you put in bracket therefore the final result is 5a minus 6b minus 8 plus c so you have to read carefully and make this algebraic expression now m identical articles m identical articles it can be uh, four five whatever number articles they are identical like one pencil five pencils yeah all the pencils are identical so identical means same m identical articles were bought at rupees x so you don't know where, um, for how much you have bought but they were bought at some rupees which is x so if i have five pencils each cost of uh, one pencil is five so you are going to multiply five into five so 25 same way your m articles at the cost of x so you will multiply this m into x you will multiply m into x to find the cost so cost of this m article uh, at the cost of x is mx each is at x so m into x would be cost of this first first article n and n other identical whatever may be eraser it is so you have uh, 5 eraser at the cost of 5 so 5 into 5 so another article n other identical articles are bought at rupees y so what would be the cost n into y n into y would be cost of the other article whatever the article so this is how the equation algebraic expression is formed and what we are trying to find the cost of both the articles you have to add both if i have to find only one article cost of only m so it will be only mx but if i have to find both then only nx, uh, n, n, y. So, if combined, you have to add. So, what you are adding? mx plus n, y. This is the algebraic expression form. Now, the types of algebraic expression. The algebraic expressions are known as polynomials. We see different types of polynomials. Now, if it has only one term, only one term, just x or this 5xy this becomes one term minus 7x by 4 that is one term if it has only one term then it is known as mono mono means one monomial sometimes in exam you will be asked to identify so just look at how many terms only one monomial now binomial has to unlike terms they should be different terms so here now you see this 2x is one term 2a is one term and x is one term so two different terms unlike terms are here so that is binomial binomial 7x by 4 binomial 7x by 4 minus 8 now this is one term this is one term two terms are there therefore it is binomial now trinomial has three unlike terms a x square plus b x plus c three unlike terms so that is tri three trinomial 
So three terms is one term, one term, one term, one term, one term, one term. Now, one, two, three, mono, bi, tri. Now, multinomial means it has more than three. The polynomials which has more than three, three terms, they are known as multinomial. So here it can be x squared is one term minus 4x another term minus xy another term plus 8y another term a plus a that is another term. It will be more than 3. So these are the polynomials. Now in the types of algebraic expression the constant polynomial. The numerals, the numbers, they are constant polynomial. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, whatever, they are constant polynomials. So these are constant polynomials. 5 minus 5, 7 by 3, 0 minus 5, they are all constant. There is no variable. So now 0 is known as the 0 constant polynomial. Now, the polynomial 4 by x, here in this polynomial it is very necessary that x is not equal to 0. So, a type of polynomial that is it becomes a monomial because there is only one term. 4 by x is one term. But if x becomes 0, then it becomes meaningless. So, here in this monomial it is very important that x is not equal to zero now when if you are asked whether it's a polynomial or not a polynomial you have to see very carefully these three things these three concepts you have to see what are those things that the exponent I hope you know what is exponent. Now x, here the exponent is 1. Nothing is written, then it is 1. So here it is 1. The exponent of any term should be whole number. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 goes on. It should be a whole number. Now, here, here it is a whole number. But here, now this x, when it goes up, the exponent does not remain a whole number. It is minus 1. So this number is not going to be a polynomial. Here, this term and this term cannot be separated. It is an algebraic expression of x plus 1 by x. So here, when this exponent goes up, it becomes minus 1. It cannot be a polynomial because the exponent is not a whole number. I hope this is very clear. So in exam, if it is asked whether this is, uh, this is polynomial or not, what you have to do is see three things. First is whether the exponent is a whole number. Your exponent is not whole number. It, this uh, algebraic expression is not a polynomial. It is not a polynomial. Now, here, next. Exponent should not be in fraction. It should not be in fraction. 1 by 2, 1 by 3 it should not be. Now whenever you write a square root, the exponent becomes 1 by 2. That is fraction. Cube root of x, here it will become 1 by 3. So fraction exponent, it is not a polynomial. Okay. Now whole number and this... Uh, 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 this exponent should uh, not be in fraction. Fraction, not a polynomial. If it is in fraction, it is not a polynomial. Now, third, what you have to see, it should not be, exponent should not be in variable. A, B, C, D, X, Y, Z, the exponent should not be in variable. So, if it becomes, if it is variable, it is not 
a polynomial. If it is in fraction, it is not polynomial. It sh if it is not whole number, then it is not polynomial. So three things you have to see to find out whether it is polynomial or not. First, the exponent should be whole number. Second, it should not be in fraction and it should not be, should not be variable. So if you see this three things, you will find out whether it is a polynomial or not. Now, in polynomial, you might have single variable, just x or just y or just z, whatever, only one variable that is single variable. But it can be 2, it can be 3, it can be x, y, z. So, here you can see in this equation, uh, you can see x, y, z minus y square so three variables are present more variables so in polynomial there can be number of variables present if it is only one you say single variable if there is more than one then number of variables it can be more variables also so it still remains a polynomial now this is a constant, these are the variables when you multiply, whether it is constant or variable, when you multiply, you get a product of those uh, constant and variable. So, this is a polynomial where it is a product 4 into a into y. So, this is the product of the polynomial. Now, this are the factors also 4 is the this one factor this is one term one term one term combined to form one three terms they have combined to form one term so it is one term but it has got factors in it so what are the factors of this term 4 is one factor a is one another factor y is another factor so 4 a and y are the factors of this polynomial 4a1 so if in exam it is asked write the factors you have to write you can be asked this also you might be given a polynomial last whether it's a single variable or a multiple variable two variable three variable so you just have to see whether it has one variable then it is one it has two two three three whatever variable you have to see and answer accordingly. Same way you might be asked uh, give the factors of this polynomial. So 4 is one factor, A is one factor, Y is another factor. So factors you just have to take out the factors from that term, full term. Now coefficient. Coefficient generally you might think just 4 is the co coefficient of A, Y, the constant. No. Coefficient is a uh, the number and variables of rest of the uh, factors. So, uh, the uh, coefficient is just the leftover part of the other factors. So, let's see how coefficient. Now, if I have to ask, write the coefficient of x, y, z. Then, phi. Phi is the coefficient of x, y, z. Now, here... Y is phi y z phi y z so what is remaining x so x is the factor of factor of phi y z y is the factor of phi x z phi x z what is remaining y is remaining so here this y is the coefficient of phi x z phi x z x is coefficient of phi y z y is the coefficient of phi x z now 5x this 5x is the coefficient of y z 5x is coefficient of y z now x y x y is the coefficient of phi z so just remember, in exam you might be asked write the coefficient of x, y. x, y, you write phi, z, phi, z, y, z, 5x. So whatever the coefficient of what is asked, 
the remaining becomes the coefficient whether it is one factor two factor three factor doesn't matter what you have to see what is asked coefficient of what if it is coefficient of just three x y z then phi is the coefficient if uh, the coefficient is of y z then 5x is the coefficient uh, so now this y z the other way it can be asked 5 y z what is the coefficient x then 5 x z y is the coefficient 5 x y z is the coefficient so whatever is remaining becomes the coefficient of that polynomial Now the degree of monomial, you just have to see the uh, exponent. Now if this uh, term is given 4x square, what is the exponent? Exponent is 2. So what is the degree of this monomial? It is 2. Now if the term a 8x square y cube, now what do you have to do? Add this exponent 2 plus 3 that becomes the degree. So, what is the degree of this monomial? It is 2 plus 3 that is 5. So, this is very simple to find out the degree of monomial. You just have to see the exponent, and here you if there are more than one variables, and you add the exponent and you get the degree of the monomial. Now the degree of polynomial, same way, whichever is the highest degree, you just have to total here, one term, two term, three term, what, um, now you just have to total the exponent of the term and find out the degree. So let's see here, the exponent is what, 5. Here x raised to 2, y raised to 4, you add the exponent 2 plus 4, it is 6. So here 5 degrees 5, here it is 6. Here the exponent is 3, it is 1, 3 plus 1, 4. So which is highest? 5, 6, 4. 6 is higher. So what is the degree of this polynomial? 2 plus 4 is equal to 3. So what you have to do to find the degree of the polynomial? Just add the exponent of each term and whichever is highest you take the degree of, the, of it to be the degree of the polynomial.